know I've had a lot of track time this last year with trying to get a 60 foot time down, um, getting better launches, how to get off the line quicker, just get the car rolling faster, and uh, just overall getting your 60 foot down uh, with what you've got to work with. Now, what I'm talking about for, you know, stock torque converter, there's no upgraded stall, no, I mean, no, no upgraded torque converter or anything like that. The gears you have in the back is not really going to make that big of a difference. It's it's all about the, the torque converter and the trans and how quickly that's going to let you uh, get into the power band um, once you hit the gas. Now, there's always that momentary delay um, in an automatic on a, a stock stall when you're trying to get off the line. If you just punch the gas, you're going to... You're going to go off the two, then boom, and it's going to start climbing. But there's always going to be that, that lag there. And uh, I think the biggest part of getting off the line in an automatic is trying to decrease that amount of time from when your uh, RPMs are, are starting to climb up to when it gets into the power band, the car actually starts moving. Uh, now there's ways to kind of get that process going a little quicker, I guess you could say, when you're, when you're launching an automatic. Um, I've tried every way possible uh, to get my car, my 5.0, to uh, get a better start off line, get a better 60 foot. Um, I tried basically just come to light, break on, um, and then mashing the gas uh, last second, you know, in that last yellow, and get get to get going. Um, it sounds kind of like flashing a torque converter, but I found in that way there is uh, almost more of a lag time because now you're waiting to go all the way up from basically idle RPM um, into the power band. So I didn't really get good results from that. Um, I tried brake torquing it up to a point where um, it won't brake torque anymore and actually starts to break the wheels loose. holding the brake and the gas and pushing the gas as, as much as you can um, until the wheels are almost just about to break and then as that light last yellow comes on you let off the brake mash the gas and the car takes off um, I've had decent results doing that depending on your setup maybe that's the maybe that's the best way for you um, for my setup that's not what worked out best for me the way that I found works the best uh, to do this um, and what, I, what I've been doing at the track uh, towards the end of the year and the way I was getting better 60 foots um, what you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna be on the brake you do your burnout. Um, don't, don't do massive oversized burnouts. You, you don't need to smoke the hell out of your tires. I did it the first couple of times I went through just because it was fucking cool. Uh, but after that, you start doing smaller and smaller burnouts. And realize you don't, you don't really need to heat up your tires too much because sometimes it's counterproductive. But as far as once you stage uh, that last stage and the lights are getting ready to go, um, <clears throat> you get the double, double yellows at the top. You're gonna be on the brake. Um, press the brake down enough. Don't you don't need to jam the brake. Don't press it all the way to the floor as hard as you can. It's, it's not necessary for what we're gonna do, uh, because again, that's gonna create more of a delay um, coming off the brake with everything releasing and the car starting to move. So you're gonna be on the brake just enough to hold the car steady, basically. Um, and what you're gonna do is be on the brake enough to hold it in one place where you can start gaining some RPM a little bit with your foot on the gas and the brake, but you're not going to rev it, um, you're not going to brake stand all the way up to whatever your stock stall is, like 2000 or something, or like 1800, however high it goes. I think the Coyote goes to like 2200 or something. Um, what you're going to do is bring it up uh, to the light, brake on, gas on, brake not pressed fully all the way, but just enough, like I said, keep you steady, um, and enough to hold roughly about 1200. Um, about 12, 11 or 1200 RPMs, just just where the needle's barely over a thousand, so you're not at idle, but you're not at full uh, maxed out. So probably, which would be about a quarter to a third of the way um, on the the brake stand, <clears throat> but like I said again, not not all the way up there. And what I've, I've realized what works best with this, and it's, it's called there's a term for it, it's flashing the converter, uh, which some people will do it off off idle, uh, and it works for them. You know, again, it's, like I said, this, this all depends on your setup. It depends on how your car is built. What you got done to it now if you have a trans brake obviously this doesn't apply if you have an upgraded torque converter you're going to want to probably try something different whatever works best for your car try it that's the only way i can really tell you to, to get better at it is experiment what works for you like i'm just telling you what i've noticed works best for me and how i've gotten the best results